the current Tony Khan regime is, hey, nothing but nothing but this. Nothing but this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I tell you, I just don't know if I trust that, Jeff Jarrett. We finished up with our urination first, and Jay was still taking a leak. Welcome, guys. Welcome to Most Memory. My name is Malcolm. We're here at Celeb Fest with Mark Briscoe. How are you, sir? I'm doing just fine. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I mean, there's a big match coming up soon at Double or Nothing. You're going to be in the corner of Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett to take it on FTR for the AW Tag Team titles. How do you see that match playing out? Like, do you see your guys winning? Well, I tell you, I got friends on both sides of the ring, okay? So all I can do is what I can do, and that's called it right down the middle like Bill Alfonso, baby. Of course, of course, but like looking back at like how the Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal came to your house and they really want to get you on their side, like do you feel like they're trying to use you in a way? Well, I tell you, I've been knowing Jay Lethal for 20 plus years and he's all right. However, I do question the motives of Sanjay Dutt, Satnam Singh, and especially that scallywag Jeff Jarrett. Okay, I mean, why? Well, I tell you one thing, they did do a hell of a lot of help on the farm, so. Did. I'll partially retract that, and I'd like to thank them fellas for uh, helping on the farm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I tell you, I just don't know if I trust that Jeff Jarrett. He's been doing this for a while, and I've been watching him for a while, and I've seen him do some devious things in the past. He has. Karen's now back in AEW as well. I know that. Yeah. And she better uh, mind her P's and the Q's when I'm down there and refereeing that match because ain't no funny business. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, ain't no funny business going down. Of course, of course. And look at your career right now. You're in Ring of Honor. You're in AEW. How would you compare this version of Ring of Honor owned by Tony Khan versus the older version of Ring of Honor by the previous owners? Well, I tell you, it's a uh, Ring of Honor has Ring of Honor is one of the most resilient entities on the planet. We started out in 2002 in the Murphy Rec Center in Philadelphia, and that was the original iteration of Ring of Honor. And from there, Sinclair Broadcasting ended up buying it, and that was the previous iteration of Ring of Honor, and now we in the Tony Khan era, and I tell you, this is the, the most exciting era yet because we just have the potential, the potential that we have right now for the eyes on the product and for the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Potential. The potential of like, the like company? Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay. okay. We're looking for it. The machine. The machine behind Ring of Honor. We got a hell of a machine behind Ring of Honor. And I'm telling you, the momentum, Mark Malcolm momentum machine, all these M's up in here at the same time, it kind of, it, 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 it'll get you. It's May. Mm -hmm. It is the month of May. The month, Lot month of, of May. Yeah, but all I'm saying is the machine behind Ring of Honor right now got more horsepower than any machine that's ever been behind Ring of Honor, if that makes any sense. Of course. So the current iteration, the current Tony Khan regime is, hey, nothing but... Nothing but this. Nothing but this. Thumbs up. Nothing but that. Thumbs up all the way. And obviously you and your brother, great tag team. One of the greatest tag teams of all time. Thank in you. your opinion, what's the top five tag teams in pro wrestling? Now or, or all time? Let's go all time. Woo, that's a tough one. I mean, I'm going to go with, off the bat, I'm going to go with LOD. LOD. Steiners. Steiners. Rock and Roll Express. Oh, man. See, this is tough, man. It's, it's really, really hard to... Uh, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett? I don't know. No? Okay. Oh, they got a little ways to go. Whoopsies. Before they make the top five. I don't know. Man, this, you put me on the spot, man. I, I did. So I'm sorry. Many. I'm so sorry. There's so, so many. many. Ain't no problem. I mean, and then it's like, where you where you even draw that line? Because, I mean, it depends on... That's pro wrestling. Different yeah. strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm. Different flavors of ice cream. You know? I might like chocolate. You might like cookies and cream. Somebody else might like mint chocolate chip. You know what I'm saying? So it's really hard. I can't even. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to defer. I'm sorry. I cannot it's okay. even it's okay. answer that question. That is perfectly okay. What's your favorite flavor? Ice cream. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. That's a good one. That was, yeah. I was gonna say that too. Yeah, cookies and cream all day long. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. I also <laughs> like oh, uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, okay. Only if there's the great big chunks of cookie dough in yeah. there. Sometimes they advertise it as chocolate chip cookie dough, but it's more like little specks of cookie dough. That's not what I'm interested in. Yeah. Not whatsoever. I want the big chunks of cookie dough. The big chunks. Okay. I was going to be hearing first. Big chunks of cookie dough. And my last question for you is, obviously, Jay Briscoe, legend. legend. Absolute legend. What's like a story of Jay Briscoe that fans maybe not know about? It's like something you always wanted to share. Huh. Give me just a, a quick second here. And I, I, 
definitely come up with something. There's a lot to pick from. Absolutely. I, I, I can't. Uh, so many. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I'm going back to my computer. Okay. Beep, boop, beep, beep. Hold up. Let's see. Jay That's Briscoe. Uh, you never believe it, but, uh, you know, we worked on Chicken Farm a whole lives. Yes. Me and my brother. He was not necessarily a fan of the chickens. When the chickens started flapping, he ain't really, he, he would step away from the chickens once they started getting riled up. Yeah. It's funny because I got two, well, I got seven kids. I got four sons. Yes, sir. One of them is Malcolm. Malcolm. And then I'm, one of them is dad? Marshall. Marshall. And uh, so Malcolm and Marshall, they're a year apart. They're the closest thing that I've ever seen to me and my brother Jay. Yeah. And it's hilarious because Malcolm, he's like me. He don't care nothing about the chickens. He'll go pick them up, hold them, and everything. Marshall, he he tried to be tough and tried to act like he ain't worried about the chickens. Yeah. He ain't scared of the chickens. I, but he, he's not necessarily a big fan of the chickens. He's much like my brother in the sense that he don't mind the chickens. But when the chickens get flapping and doing all kind of crazy stuff, he's just a little bit scared of the chickens. <laughs> See, now, that's probably not exactly uh, what you was expecting no, when wasn't. you look for a random uh, Jay, Jay Briscoe story. I'm glad I heard it, too. I'm trying to think if I had... One time, me, my brother, and my cousin, yeah. we was coming from Delaware, driving to West Virginia University yes, sir. to see our other cousin, all right? And this was a middle of the night thing. Mm -hmm. Not middle of the night, maybe 11 o'clock at night. We said, let's go see Johnny. It's like an eight-hour ride. Oh, wow. We load up, start going towards West Virginia. Mm -hmm. We're on 404 in Delaware, right? Yes, sir. And we had to take a pee break. They had to stop side of the road. Take a quick pee, all yes. right? Me and my cousin, Hippie, we finished up with our urination first, and Jay was still taking a leak. Yeah. And we was like, Taking his time. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> and so we, boom, take off, and his high, pull, you know, pulling, high, running, and we slam on the brakes, and as we slam on the brakes, he's still running full speed, and the door's still open, and it, boom, boom. Flies it. Oh, man. That was hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yep, yep. He, I, uh, <laughs> Yeah, he one time we he uh we had a swimming pool uh -huh. in the backyard, not great big Olympic pool, you know, regular swimming pool. Yeah. And he measured out the distance. He had to swim back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to swim a mile. He sat right there and swam back and forth however many five hundred or something that times, swam a mile right there. Wow. That boy well, I got a bunch of stories <laughs> about the boy. I absolutely love hearing them. Yeah. I was like, thank you so much for his envy. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, sorry, and, I, and obviously going to double or nothing. Who do you think is going to walk out with those tag team titles? Well, if you, if you had to give a prediction, I'm just saying. I, if I had to give a prediction. Now, like I said, I'm calling it right down the middle like right Bill Obonzo, daddy. Yes, sir. Yep, but, uh, I mean, it's hard to – Jeff Jarrett, legend, you know, Jay Legal, one of the finest professional wrestlers that I've ever experienced, and I've experienced a lot of them. Yes, you have. But FDR is a well-oiled tag team machine, and they've been doing it for years now. They've been doing the tag team thing for years. Jeff Jarrett had plenty of tag team matches. Jay Legal's had plenty of tag team matches. FTR is one of the greatest tag teams. They could be in that top five. But they, they don't have Karen Jarrett. Going with. They don't have they Karen don't Jarrett. Jarrett. However, Karen Jarrett will not be a factor because nope. of the officiating in the match. Done by yours truly. Yours truly. Mark Briscoe. Right down the middle. Karen, hey, no funny business. Jeff Jarrett, no funny business. You understand me? All right. Amazing, amazing. Mark Briscoe, thank you very much, thank sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. And we're out. We going up like a thousand. I'm a flesh just like a muscle man, Malcolm. Uh, we going up like a thousand. I'm a flesh just like a muscle man, Malcolm. Uh, when it's like one, two, three. Like the channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze.